He's got it. Honestly, big one. First cast. It's softer. I mean, it's a softer, soft plastic for sure. Pretty old bass. Let's get a release on him. Oh my god, he spit out my Senko. So they got all these amazing ones right here. I literally scared the shit out of him. What's going on people welcome to another video thank you guys so much for clicking on this one we have another cheap versus expensive video today and it's going to be a cheap versus expensive senko i'll pop the comment on the screen right now you guys were asking for a lot i mean everybody was like liking the comments like the top rated comment on the video everybody's been asking for it in some other videos so i'm deciding to do it today and i would like to say one thing my buddy fishing with norm he said he was going to do this challenge so i kind of held back but he still hasn't posted it and he's definitely going to be doing one soon so once you watch mine maybe once he posts his i'm gonna have to give him a shout out or something you guys can go watch his as well but by the way we're outside of walmart right now we're gonna be running in there we're gonna get some cheap senkos and some expensive senkos and put them face to face at the pond we're about to go to if you guys want to see some more killer challenges be sure to pepper that thumbs up button also let me know in the comment section what cheap versus and expensive challenges you would like to see next let's go ahead and get inside walmart baby all right everyone made it to the fishing section in here and let's go ahead and take a look at what senkos they got so they got got all these amazing ones right here they got the gary yamamoto's they got the yums they got the strikings and then they have some power bait ones right here and then one thing i noticed is they have you know how they all have a clearance bin there's some senkos in there so i believe this is like a dollar i don't know if this is a dollar bin i'm probably going to grab a pack of those so as you guys can tell they have a few packs i think i'm going to go with the june bug just because the water clarity there it's not the best is that june bug yeah that's june bug i don't know why it looked like a black and blue for a second there how the light hit it I'm guessing these are going to be a dollar i'm going to ask the people up front for the expensive ones obviously i'm going to go with the gary yamamoto's they do have the power baits and senkos and they're a few cents more but then again these things smell so bad and we're going to go with these little green pumpkin ones right here actually let's make it different these are the watermelon black and red that's a killer color right there but good dirty water colors that i had success on is like a black and red flake and then also a june bug color so these are the cheap ones we're gonna go see if these are actually a dollar or if they're two dollars i guess it depends but they were in the clearance bin so they might be a dollar and then we got the old gary yamamoto's for seven dollars let's go ahead and go check out before we go check out i actually do want to buy some hooks and weights just for some backup i don't have too many left we're gonna grab a pack of bullet weights he's got like a one fourth ounce right here cheap little lead weights we're making it super cheap super simple and then we got some little five out ewgs let's go check out oh. well that's pretty much one of the most awkward trips i've taken to walmart so far i was in the section when i was talking to you guys about weights and hooks and i was i was talking about the weights and i was like man we gotta get some hooks i don't remember what i was about to say and this lady just walked around the corner right as i was talking and i'm like man and i kind of thought in my head i was like it's all right you know i'm talking but then again i'm talking to a camera not somebody on the other line of the phone it, it was just weird man that was that was too weird for me i don't know it's just i wish i could put everybody on pause for a split second when i'm going to film inside of a public store we got the tackle right here baby we are about to go hit the pond tie up and go catch some bass by the way those senkos were on clearance um so i got those for a dollar and then the other ones are like seven eight bucks so pretty much a one dollar pack of senkos versus a ten dollar pack of senkos if it was me i'd buy the one dollar ones i'm just saying now but i guess we're gonna see today by uh how many fish each of them catch in my opinion they're gonna catch just about just about the same as you know any other senko but i guess we'll see when we're out in the water who knows they might end up eating that june bug better than that you know uh watermelon black and red so i guess we'll see it's gonna be neat it's gonna be cool it's gonna be juicy let's get to the pond all right people we are here getting our rods or my rod rigged up let me show you guys what i got we'll debrief real quick really really quick and simple so for the expensive senkos i went with the gary yamamoto watermelon black and red flake as you guys can tell right there simple simple that's for the expensive ones so there's like seven eight bucks and then i got the old yum dingers right here which i've used before and these are just in regular um june bug right here and i actually got these for a dollar they're usually like two dollars and something cents but they're in the clearance bin 
so I got them cheaper. So boom, so $1 versus technically $10. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna matter too much, but I guess we're gonna go out there and tell. We're, one of those colors are obviously gonna possibly produce better than one another unless those fish are just hungry and they're gonna eat whatever's in front of them or it's gonna be super tough. I mean, we never know. We're gonna go out there and then I also bought, you know, some lead bullet weights, some one fourth ounce, just cheap and inexpensive ones when I'm fishing, you know, ponds and stuff like this. Then I got some old Berkley EWG hooks right here. Five aught. I wish they had four, four aught, but they didn't. They only had size five, so that's what we're going with. I'm gonna title my old bait chrome right here. This is a standard, um, just a regular medium heavy rod. And it's on an old Concept A reel and I have 15 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon on it. We're gonna tie this up and then we're gonna go catch some fish. So everyone, we got the expensive Gary Yamamoto's and the cheap yums. I think I'm gonna start off with the yum dingers first, the inexpensive ones, the cheap ones, and then we'll move over to this. But we're gonna see how many fish we can catch on this guy. We're gonna throw it on the old Texas rig I've rigged up on this rod and hopefully whack some good ones. All right, baby, here goes nothing. First cast. First thing I need to do is check my drag. Tiny just a tad. All right. Let's see what we can do today. Hopefully we'll end up catching a lot. Oh man, he's hammering me. He's got it. Gosh, the first cast. Are you kidding me? That thing was hammering that thing too. Man, what a baby dude. The one for the cheap Sanko. Gosh, I cannot believe that first cast. Right there, he got that thing. He was hammering it. He actually felt like a big one for a second there. But that is first fish of the day on the cheap Sanko. I'm gonna throw it a few more times, see what we can do, and then we'll switch over to the expensive one. He's got it. Another one. Another one. Gosh, these fish fight so hard, guys. I cannot explain to you for how small they are, for how hard they fight is just insane. Got him right outside of the mouth right there, right outside of the lip. Second fish already. This is insane. Gosh, it's going to be a good day right there. That is such a beautiful fish. That is a little guy, but he, he's got a thick little body. Let's see, buddy. All I gotta say, people, is it is going to be a juicy day today, a juicy video, so be sure to smash that and pepper that like button up. That's two already, so what I'm doing is I'm pretty much throwing that bait out there, letting it hit the bottom, and I'm just simply dragging that Senko along the bottom. Not hopping it at all, nothing, just simply dragging that thing. Simple as it gets. And they are just hammering that bad boy. And the way that they're biting it is so aggressive. Like there's a difference between like a little fish biting it because you usually know when a little fish is biting it and when one of these fish bite it it's like i can't explain it it's like <laughs> you just hammer it so hard you feel like the rod's about to fly out of your hand well those fish already tore up the senko quite a bit right there so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna take this one off i'm just gonna go ahead and put an expensive one on i'm not gonna switch it off with another cheap one so we already have two fish on this inexpensive one right there and we're about to put on one of these gary yamamoto expensive ones see if it does any better because that little one caught some fish fairly quick i can tell you that there is one thing i absolutely love this color right here this color is killer so is the june bug so i guess we'll see which one's best he's already hitting it he's got it first cast well that's a big one I oh, know it ain't what in the world i've never seen fish fight so hard in my life i'm just boating them across look at this first cast that means both the Sankos caught a fish on the first cast. That's a little better one. Not much better, but he's a thick one. On the expensive Sanko, guys. Right there. First cast on that bad boy. Let's get him back in the water. All right, buddy. See ya. Third fish of the day. So I can tell you guys something about the Gary Yamamoto instantly. I only caught one fish on it, and it technically destroyed that Sanko. Literally the first cast. So the material is definitely a lot softer. I mean, it's a softer, soft plastic for sure. I can tell it's got a good bit of salt in it just by the way, you know, it's a heavier bait than the yum. But then again, the yum is more durable. It's not breaking as easy. But then again, this one's heavier and has a lot more salt. So they both have their benefits. But then again, if you're gonna only catch one fish per one of these, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about that. But we're gonna put another one on, see if we can catch another fish. Oh, he's got it. I set my rod down. Just dead sticking it out there. Second fish on the expensive Senko coming in hot. He's a baby though. He's a baby. Little baby guy. It's definitely the smallest one so far. I think so. That's fish number four. Two for each. 
and it did not break that i mean you could tell how soft this plastic is you can just tell it's kind of so you guys a huge gap in that right there i can probably catch another fish on it oh he's hammering me <laughs> whoa that was awesome <laughs> that was crazy right when i hooked seven just flew out of the water that's fish number five though three on the expensive sanko right when i hooked said that guy he just went flying i made him crap himself look at that i literally scared the shit out of him <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking insane. All right, fish number five. Well, that's three for the old Gary, two for the Yumdinger. I'm gonna have to go with the Yumdinger again. I already tore up that Senko. I've already tore up two of those. I don't know. That was, there's two fish on that, or no, was it three? Yeah, there's three fish on that bait. Or there's two fish on that last Senko, but it's three fish on that bait total. But we're about to put another Yumdinger on. I feel like these are more, way, way stronger than the other ones. And don't get me wrong, like, before I even did this video, I already knew Gary Yamamoto's, like, soft plastics. They were very soft. They were gonna break a little easier than whatever else I was throwing, but I didn't really i didn't realize you know how much softer they were from other soft plastics i'm being serious like they tear really easy like i knew they tore easy but i didn't know it was that like insane there's a giant carp bass just got me <laughs> i need to rinse him off oh he threw my sanko that ain't good that ain't good at all well that's fish number six, three on each. I saw a giant carp. They're all about the same size, but they fight. I promise you guys, they're fighting like crazy. Oh boy, perfect, man. I'm gonna just turn around, try to run from the rain real quick. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am literally running from the rain. Like, there's no rain right here. And it's just coming down. And further I walk, and now it's coming on this side. Oh, no. Every time I try to film a video, I swear. Two hours later. Well, everyone, I'm back. I actually had to run away because there was a big storm rolling in. It started raining, so it's like two hours after. Later. I actually ran home, edited up a video for tomorrow, and uh, now I'm coming back, and we're about, I have a film we're about to wear them out. It's about to be fun. Um, I'm gonna, I have the expensive one on right now, so that's, I guess, what, that's where we're leaving off on. Sorry, I had to bug out of here. I swear, every time I'm filming like a Sanko fishing challenge, it always rains or something, but we're about to cast in here and hopefully get slammed right off the bat. Who knows, it might have turned these fish on. I'm kind of excited. I don't know, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go ahead and get to it. Got our old expensive Gary Yamamoto Senko on. And this is the first cast since I left. I actually saw some fish coming up right here on the bank. Right there, let's see. Saw a few fish blow up on some bait right there. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, baby. Look at him running. Tiny one or something. Or he's just running at me. Oh, he came off. He tugged hard at the end. I don't know. Can't even say that was a tiny one because he was running at me. Couldn't really feel him. He's taking off. There he is. That's a decent one. More. I got fishing line. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. At least he wasn't big. My old cheap buddy again. We're going for it. Holy smoke. Bit my Senko right in half. Oh. This is not happening for me right now. I've literally had like four opportunities and they've all just been stupid. They've literally has all been stupid. I don't know what is going on right now. Oh, we got it. Are you being serious now? Are you being serious? Never go in to a day of fishing with high hopes that you're just gonna smack them because of how the conditions look or whatever it is, because I can tell you one thing, I definitely jinx myself, and I gotta put on one of these expensive ones, because I'm running out of the other one. It's supposed to be a challenge. Not a fish takes my, takes my lures challenge, I can tell you that. If I could land a fish, that would just be amazing, and he's hammering it. That's what I like. Oh my God, I got him. I got him. Oh man, I got him. Oh, I got your butt, man. All right, my wish just came true right there. I'm happy. <laughs> we got the ball rolling now, all right? We got one. We missed about six, but this is, you're, you're my little lucky charm, man. I cannot believe these Sankos. I'm very disappointed. I knew they were, like, super soft, but I didn't realize, like, you catch one fish on these things, and they're dang, they're dang done. They are salty, I can tell you that. Oh, my gosh. I'll give them that. They're salty, they're soft, but, man, these fish are tearing them up too quick. All right. Right back in the same spot. Let's see if we can get his buddy. And he's got it. He's got it. 
Oh my gosh, he told <laughs> Dude, this is unreal, guys. I'm just glad you guys are here to witness this with me. To witness me just getting trolled right now by these fish. He had it right when I threw in there. Maybe there's a lot stacked up right there. I know there's a few stumps right here. All stacked around those stumps. And now I'm stuck on the stump. All right, I got it out. That should be the target right there. There we go. Exactly. Exactly, baby. <laughs> there we go. We felt that stump, but my Senko's gone. I literally put it on the cast before. I'll take it for this fish because he made me mad. But God, these fish are so fat, but they're so small. I do not get it. And they fight so hard. They're just aggressive. We're just going to have to cast back in there. I know there's a lot around this stumps. All right, we have got to bite every cast right there. So I'm just going to continue to do it. I think he has it. Oh my God. Guys, they are stacked there. If he stole the Senko, are you kidding me, man? I'm firing Gary Yamamoto. Gary Yamamoto is fired from the show right here. What in the world? These fish are just killing me. I'm gonna run out of baits by the time I even hook another one. That's five casts in a row. I've had five bites, landed two. I'm just leaving the pack out right there. That's not going back in my pocket. Yep. Oh man, I about killed that fish. You all right? Gosh, I was launching out of that water. But that is six casts in a row. <laughs> we got to bite. Oh my God, he spit out my Senko. There is no way. He freaking, all right. Oh, hold up. You guys see that? That's the other piece of my Senko that he stole. It, it came out of his mouth. I wonder what he spit. But look at the back on this thing, the little green colors. That is unbelievable. Man, I got your butt. I got your butt. He stole my other Senko. Pretty little bass. I like the colors on his back is crazy looking whoa trick shot that was unreal i cannot believe that fish that fish was literally the one who bit my senko in half like three or four casts ago that's insane these fish i'm telling you they're short striking it they whack it but they just i don't understand what's going on i had like six casts in a row three fish the other ones just kept just ripping me off i have no clue we're gonna put another one of these expensive one on and uh get back in there yes sir he's got it God, he felt so big. Where are the big guys at? I want some big ones. That is the biggest one yet. It's a fat fish. God. A little gut on him for how small. All right, everyone, we're walking out now. I just feel like there's two reasons I want to leave. One, I really feel like catching a big one. I'm tired of catching these small ones. And two, this pond just seems like it's not on right now. It's just not happening. So maybe if we go to another one, it'll possibly produce a little bit better. Maybe some bigger fish and get some killer content. That's that's. That's the that's the good part. That's the main focus is to get some killer video for you guys to watch. Hashtag juicy lemon pepper below. I haven't brought the lemon pepper bait on the show in quite some time now. We're gonna have to do a lemon pepper challenge because I ordered a ton of lemon pepper baits. That'll be coming on coming soon. If you guys are enjoying this episode so far, be sure to pepper that like button up. But we're gonna head to another pond, baby. At the old juicy area right here, we're gonna try to catch this big one. I'm tired of it. We've caught way too many small fish in this video. It's time to hook a big one. I'm about to throw this old Senko in there and hook a launch. Hopefully, there's some big ones in here. We caught some last time, so let's give it a try. He's got it. Oh my God, it's a big one. First cast. Oh, he's not huge, but he's the best one today by far. He felt huge for a minute there when his head came up. He looked like he was about a four. Solid two pounder though right there. Gosh, first cast here, guys. That is a good sign right there. First cast, solid, solid fish right there. Pretty old bass. Let's get a release on him. All right, guys, first fish on this new pond. See you, buddy. Golly. All right, <laughs> bye. Oh my gosh, he's got it. He stole my sink. He had it right when it hit the water. I'm an idiot. What in the world? Me being lazy right there just cost me more time. Just retied. See if he'll bite again. Right where he's supposed to be too, right at the end of that grass. Oh my God, oh my God, he's right there. He got it. He broke me off. I just retied. I literally, that was my first flip. I must have had a big fray in my line. Today is not my day, guys. I don't know what's going on. See that big fray in my line? God. Go in, there's a fish right there. That was the craziest catch I think I've done in a minute. I literally put, him, put it on his head while he was looking at me and he ate it. Today is just an insane day. He's got it. Oh, that's a good one. He ain't bad. He's acting like he's a monster. 
There we go. Gosh, look how far he had that thing. And he literally had it for like two seconds. Literally. I threw it in there. He just walked away with it for a second. And he already choked it that far. Look how fat that fish is right there. All right, everyone. Beautiful little bass. See, buddy. Woo. There you go. Well, everyone, I'm done fishing for the day, but do not click off this video yet. I do want to do a little review at the end of this over the two different baits. The $1 Sanko versus pretty much the $10 Sanko and the differences. First thing I would like to say is they're both good baits. I think they both have a purpose. Of course, they're two different companies, but I mean, they're both good in my opinion. And if I could compare, if I could pick one, obviously I'm gonna pick the $1 pack. And I got that on sale, by the way, they're usually like $2 and something cents, but they're still a lot cheaper. They're way cheaper. And the reason I would pick that $1 pack is because they're a lot more durable. They're not breaking really easy. The plastic's just so, the plastic is just way, 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 stronger it just really is and uh versus the gary yamamoto's they're a lot softer which i like i mean i like soft plastics that are actually pretty soft but then again they break so easy and another good thing about the gary yamamoto ones was that you know it was filled with salt so you could cast that thing pretty far but they just tore up so easy that was my only problem my favorite ones of all time are the z bait sticks but um, i'm currently out i'm actually getting some in the mail maybe i'm gonna have to go film a video on those because the sticks are awesome um i catch a lot of fish on those and they're really durable and then they have that strong smell as well so the fish hold on to it obviously going off you know the one dollar versus the ten dollar definitely the one dollar i think took the victory on this one they caught just about the same amount of fish obviously like i said at the beginning of the video i, I said the same thing um, obviously the colors didn't matter too much they're eating both of them that's about it thank you guys so much for watching this cheap versus expensive fishing challenge if you guys want to see more of these be sure to pepper that like button also leave a comment below on what cheap versus expensive fishing challenge you want to see next also hold up don't leave yet i want you guys to go check out my cheap versus expensive frog video and also my cheap versus expensive swim bait video they're both stellar videos Videos. Got a lot of big bass in them, and I think you guys enjoy them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. Be sure to subscribe. So hit that little red button and click that bell. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the weatherman, uh. I crack cars, get hella bears, uh. I got a bra from the motherland, uh. I got shooters with us, uh. I get it, get it up uh, anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I crack cars, cook every day, uh. I get money, uh, every day, uh.